Hey, so my name is Ash. I am the otter behind Ottermate Games. And today I just wanted to tell you a little bit about my new YouTube channel. I've been in this game industry for about 14 years now. 10 of those years was working AAA and awesome experience. Like being able to work with some of the most smartest and talented people in your field. <laughs> Aside from the crushing imposter syndrome that you learn to work your uh, yourself past, it is a uh, it's an honor and it's and it's great. Which makes it difficult when you realize that you kind of need to move forward on into your own way. For me, that's telling stories. I, I really, really want to be able to tell stories. I love helping other people to tell their stories, but for me, I, I just want the chance to try. Now, what does that mean? That means leaving the comfort of AAA for indie. A lot of unknowns, a lot of unknowns. And the more I read, the more I look at other indie devs, even indie devs that have left AAA to go indie themselves and you can see the giant, uh, the Herculean task before you. And I think the important thing is that all these unknowns, it doesn't necessarily have to be scary. And at least in a creative context, when you, when you got the blank canvas in front of you and the deadline is looming, what do you do? Especially if you get stuck on in things like perfectionism or you you want to please everybody else around you so it's hard for you to get started but the most important thing is to fail forward and the first time i ever heard the term in this context uh, uh, it was at working on making some trailer shots for command and conquer and i was getting stuck the same way behind that blank canvas what do i do i was asking so many questions to the art director in the fr kindest friendliest way possible he's just like well you just fail forward just just, just do it. Just get something in the engine. Put it together. Make make things move. You put the brush to the canvas a bit. And then you can take what you make and then you can go get your feedback. And then you can apply that feedback and go get and then do some more work and then go get more feedback. This is this is called iterating, because you're iterating iterating the steps to, of getting feedback and applying it to your work. And eventually you get to a point where the work ideally does what you intended from the start um <laughs> or it becomes a conversation about why it didn't uh get to the intention um but, but both are valuable um yeah that's what i would like this channel to be as i move forward to find a better space to do some storytelling of my own Building that up, what does that look like? Um, it, how, how do you build a studio from scratch? How do you build a marketing department from scratch? Um, and if that sounds like your jam and you want to hear anecdotes about the industry while we kind of learn and try to grow, then please like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for my next video when I talk about what's the smallest unit of story and a game. See ya. Talking to somebody, it's not just this microphone that just sits there, staring at me, unblinking. Like, like, please, can they have like cameras that have like human blinky eyes maybe that we, we can, okay, 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 fine, 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 fine. Oh, pretend that the camera is a person, good, okay. Um, <laughs> hey.